Guys, I just filmed this entire video, uploaded it, went to go edit it, and my card failed. So here we go again. Welcome back, Super Sentai, Power Rangers, Tokusatsu fans. My name is Robbie, and you are watching Geek Level Asian. We've received over the past few weeks even more Zenkaidra news, and we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to cover all of the, I think, the most important things, some of the fun things, but if I forget anything, leave it down in the comments. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the news that is coming out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm also giving away my Funko Pop Ultra Zord at 5,000 subscribers, and guys, we're almost there. So even if you're new to the channel and you subscribe, you won't really be waiting long. So let's talk about the news about the Super Sentai movies. We're getting three Super Sentai movies. The first one that's mentioned is the Kier Major movie, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't speak Japanese, and I don't exactly know what's going on in the trailer, but I have a pretty good idea. I hold my phone with Google Translate microphone on, and I basically just listen to the trailer and try to decipher as much as I can. And from what I got, I got the word dream. And Juru is wearing one of those stereotypical sleep caps that no one actually ever really wears when they sleep. But I can imagine that the villain somehow is messing with them in a dream world or their dreams or something like that, and that's really all I got from that trailer. So now the next one is the Kishiru Sentai Real Soldier movie, and I did get more from this trailer. Nada, this is a spoiler, so if, <laughs> if you haven't watched Real Soldier and you plan to, skip maybe around like 30 seconds. Uh, maybe, I, I'll also probably leave like one of those things down in the bar if you want to skip forward. But Nada, who dies in Real Soldier, is alive in this. And so if you've watched Real Soldier, you know that Nada was Geysorg. And he was in line to be one of the Real Soldiers, but he didn't get it. He becomes Geysorg. He becomes good at some point, but then he dies pretty much immediately. In this movie, he's alive. Now, I'm guessing that could really only mean that this movie is supposed to take place before he dies. The other thing that's interesting is, and again, I don't speak Japanese, but they mention Banba's name and they zoom in on him kind of like it's important. So, I don't know, I, I, maybe it like revolves around his tribe or him as a character, not sure. So now for the last trailer, the Zenkaidra movie trailer, we didn't really learn much. We got some other angles, I guess, of the characters themselves. We got to see more of the villains and it seems to be that there's going to be a fight between the Zenkaiger, the Kikanoids and the Zenkaiger, and a lot of the villains from the old from the old seasons. I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw Putty in there. And I'm pretty sure I saw Bosco from Gokaiger as well. So now moving on, some new scans of Zenkaiger magazine spreads have been released online. So thank you for whoever does that in Japan. Somebody does that in Japan. I don't know who you are, but thank you. The first thing I want to focus on is the spread that shows Zenkaiser, Kaito, and above him you see Jiro Eagle. And the reason why I want to focus on that, because if you look to the left of that, there's a shot of Zenkaiser and he's got these animated Juo Eagle wins. So that begs the question, do the Sentai Gears that we're all learning about, do those create physical manifestations of the Rangers, which we kind of thought, right, from the, from the original trailer where you see all the Red Rangers, does it also give them the abilities of the Rangers themselves? We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but I don't know. I mean, it, they don't look like the physical wings, like he's not actually wearing them. They look animated, so I don't know what that's going to look like. And what would that look like for other series? Like, what if he uses a Gokaiger type of Sentai gear, what does he get? Does he get like an animated version of a Gokai sword? Like, what does that look like? So I'm not sure from what we've seen with all those Red Rangers in that one shot, if that's special for the movie or is that something that's gonna be in the show? I'm not exactly sure. So now we also get some close-up shots of the character, Kaito, and he's jumping, he's silly, he's over-enthusiastic. They're going in this direction yet again, and if you've watched my channel before, you know that I'm not exactly really into that. The most recent character that I think it worked out for him in the end was Lucky from Q-Ranger. That's one of my favorite Sentai series, but he started out, you know, Yosha Lucky, like really silly. I didn't like him at first, but as the show went on and as his character developed, he started to become more serious, he became a better leader, especially after, again, this is a spoiler actually, so, <laughs> if you haven't watched Q-Ranger, it's been out for a while, so I hope I'm not spoiling this for you, but he learns that he's a prince. He has this total, like, Lone Star from Spaceballs moment, where he didn't know that he was, but he is a prince. So he takes on this responsibility not only as the prince, but also as the leader of the Q-Ranger until they basically kind of like disband and then Stinger takes over, but that's not the point. The point is, characters like, I think his name is Wright, I don't even know his, I think his name is Wright, the guy from Tokyo. 
not into that, you know, like, I know that, <laughs> spoiler, 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 if you haven't watched Okuja, again, it's been out for a while, not my fault, uh, he, he's supposed to be a kid in a grown-up's body, I totally understand that, so how much are you really gonna grow, how much are you really going to have any character development, listen, I get it, but still, I don't think he ever really became a leader, in fact, in my opinion, he made a lot of really dumb choices because he was overly enthusiastic and put his team in danger, but I understand that that's what that series is kind of about, it's like about imagination, IMAGINATION! I get it, but, I don't know, not, not my type of series. Don't get me wrong, there are parts of Tokyutra that I, I really like, I just don't really like that character. So we got some new close-ups of the mecha transformations and different formations and how they're going to combine together. We already saw, I believe it was red and yellow in battle already in the original trailer. So now you can see all the other colorful transformations that there are going to be. You could also see some images of the Kikanoids, you know, at different angles of them and what they're going to look like when they're not in like their more human looking form. So now the thing that I want to talk about the most are the Sentai Gears. So over time, we've been seeing more and more Sentai Gears, whether they're in ads, in the trailers, in, in scans themselves, whether they're the toys or whether they're the actual show props. We've been seeing all the different kinds that there are, and we know now that they show the number of what Sentai team they are, and it shows the Red Ranger on the Sentai Gears. I didn't put this image together myself, so thank you for whoever did this. I just found this online and it wasn't tagged. But basically, from what I understand, this is the gathering of all of the Sentai Gears that we've seen so far, and there are quite a few of them, so we do know that the Senkai are gonna be using all of these characters' powers, and I'm really stoked about that because, as you may already know, Gokaiju is a very, very important season to me. It's one of my, in, in fact, it's my favorite Super Sentai series ever. You know, it was also an anniversary series, and I do love the nostalgia aspect of it, right? I mean, all of this is nostalgia if you really think about it. But, so now here's the thing that I think is interesting. After I saw the picture that showed all the Sentai Gears, I saw a picture of the toys, and some of the toys are not the same color gold or bronze or whatever you want to call it, they're red. And that got me thinking, and this is just a theory, I don't know this for a fact, but what if the gold Sentai Gears give us the abilities, maybe like the animated Juo Wings that we saw earlier, of that Sentai team, and what if the red Sentai Gear calls upon the Red Ranger, the physical manifestation. It could be a thing, if it's not, I would say, I mean, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta admit, like, that's a pretty good, pretty good theory with the evidence that we, that we already have. But who knows, they could just be some type of exclusive paint variant and I could be totally wrong. And then after that, I saw this picture, which basically shows if not all, many of these Enkaidra toys. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna collect them. They do look pretty cool. I'm not really a mecha collector. They just take up a lot of room, but what I do like, and if you're looking on my back shelves, I like Henshin devices, I like changers, I like basically prop type toys most of the time, and I do want to pick up the gear to linger, I'm not going to pre-order it, uh, but after I watch the show, after I see how the Sentai gear work, if it really gets me stoked, maybe I'll grab one, I don't know, maybe I'll do an unboxing, let me know, should I do an unboxing of the gear to linger, would you even want to watch that? So is anybody else, like, super excited about Zenkaiger? I wasn't expecting to be, but now I really am, because, listen, I gave Cure Major a fighting chance. I gave it a second chance, actually. I should say, I didn't like it at all, but everyone, you know, they were like, oh, you gotta, you gotta stay with it, stick with it, stick with it, you know, you'll like it once you get to, like, episode 20. And they weren't wrong, it definitely gets better, but it's still not really, like, I don't hate it, it's not bad, but I don't like it, it's not good. I don't know. In fact, when I try to think of the things that I like about it, like the first thing that comes to mind is how many times they've incorporated pineapple apple pen. And that should not be my favorite part of the series. Senna 1, Senna 2, uh, Senna 1, 2, or something, something like that. So what are your theories about Senkaija? How do you think that the Sentai gear are gonna work? Do you think that I'm wrong? Or, hey, do you already actually know? Have you already translated the trailers because again, I don't speak Japanese. And if you do, that would help out a lot. Leave all that stuff down in the comments. And hey, and if you got to this point in the video, I can only imagine that you liked what you're watching. So don't miss out on my next one and make sure to subscribe to the channel. You could also follow me on the social media. I'm most active on Instagram, but I'm trying to get more into TikTok. So if you have TikTok, make sure to go add me on there as well. I'm trying to make as many like Ranger and Sentai Toku videos on there as well. So that's it, everybody. I hope my memory card doesn't screw up and may the power protect you.